गाइज वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द सेट वॉरियर पॉडकास्ट लाइफ कैन बी वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स समटाइम्स वी डोंट रियली नो वॉट वी आर डूइंग एंड वेयर एंड दैट्स वाई सम यू नीड पीपल टू गाइड यू एंड दिस हैज गॉन इन मेनी डिफरेंट नेम्स ओवर द ईयर्स बट कोचिंग इज समथिंग दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल आर डिस्कवरिंग इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक टू टू ऑफ इंडियाज मोस्ट ट्रस्टेड लाइफ कोचेस and nlp experts uh, indu and mitesh khatri thank you thank you so much for ha- coming here it's a pleasure to have you on the podcast welcome thank you thank, thank you. you for calling us and inviting us thank you thank it's you my so much. Uh, it's my pleasure so for people to understand a context uh, you guys have been life coaches and nlp experts what was your journey to get to this point what was your experience what did you do to come till here Okay, very interesting journey. So I started my line line of career with sales. Mm-hmm. So I was into door to door marketing, <laughs> literally going from door to door. When I started my first job, selling spoons and massages <laughs> for hundred and twenty rupees. Those were the days. And then over a period of time, started working. Uh, being a Marwadi, always got back into entrepreneurship because business was always in the blood. And then after some time. Uh, it was i remember anthony robbins book that inspired me called unlimited power yeah. to truly get into this field of life coaching and understood what this field is really all about and the question that really intrigued me from that book was why do human beings do what they do mm. like why are some people successful and some failures yeah. two people have the same potential how come one is a total success and the second is an absolute failure why what is the difference yeah. so from there started my journey into understanding why and i then over a period of years invested crores into my own life coaching attending multiple programs with tony robbins and some of the biggest names in the industry and the more i learned it became natural to get inclined to then become a coach mm. and that's where my journey started but i didn't start off as a life coach i started off as a corporate trainer and did uh, initially i started with communication workshops team building workshops public speaking workshops sales programs yeah but over a period of time got finalized as my niche or as my expertise as leadership programs and yes. uh, so there were two topics that we were well known in the corporate world for for about 17 years before i did law of attraction or life coaching yeah. which was leadership and motivational speaking so some of the largest companies in the world would call us for either leadership workshops for the top management mm. or motivational speech for them mm. this is how we started when Motiv- i met her she was already working in corporates motivational speech followed by fire walk we used to do yeah. a activity called walking on the fire we should talk about that Uh, so what what is that can you explain it it's proper walking on the fire as the name implies we, we used to lay the coal <laughs> put the fuel light the fire and make people walk on it so this I is our book the so awaken the leader in you you see this oh field. that's the photo yeah that's the photograph so these are both national best sellers yep. these are both national best and you wrote the leadership one first yes. right awaken the leader in you yes how long ago was this written you this was written in 2007 okay. and published in 2008 Huh. and uh, we were while we were doing leadership program parallelly we were teaching law of attraction free completely as a contribution to the society so right. we've been teaching law of attraction for 20 years right. and that time we wrote this second book in 2012 we published in 12 we bo- uh, wrote it in 2011 and this is completely on law of attraction this is completely yeah. on law of attraction all right so before we go any further into our discussion i want to know a little bit about law of attraction from you as someone who's been teaching it and practicing it yourself what is law of attraction in the simplest way possible all right so the universe is made of energy and vibrations mm. right my voice right now seems like a voice to you but if you measure it in a laptop as a voice it's a frequency mm. correct and whatever frequency we are vibrating at is what we are constantly attracting a simple science based on that is uh, physics says the frequency attracts frequency with the same band mm. that's how radio works mm. you tune in 93.5 93.5 plays is it possible to have a radio where you could play 93.5 and attract 101.1 mm. no so then does law of attraction work mm. yes that's a that's an interesting description i have um, my own journey mm. uh, through law of attraction has been initially of um surprised that oh can something like this happen then of skepticism hmm Obviously. thinking that I can yes we can yes, relate like a skeptic uh, skepticism uh, perspective that uh, aisa to nahi ho sakta and this was parallel with my belief in religion and god yeah very similar path 
which is uh, oh this does not seem true this cannot be hmm. and that was also the time when you were reading more about science about evidence all of that now once i've started reading neuroscience i have realized some things which is that people's lived experiences are true yeah so if someone has gone through this process of law of attraction yeah. of manifestation if they really believe in something and they work hard for it it has come true indeed my conflict still is in the explanations that's true so same for religion and same for law of attraction that's i have true. a different explanation for it sure um but at one point does the explanation matter or does the lived experience matter mm i feel like the lived experience is so much so much more important if somebody is listening to this podcast who's never tried this who's never even heard of law of attraction mm. can it be something that they do by themselves can yes. they start by themselves yes they're always doing it hmm nobody's never using law of attraction because let's understand first the definition of what law of attraction is at a scientific level hmm. we have feelings we have thoughts we have beliefs we have actions yeah. i call it ftba okay each feeling has a vibration each thought has a vibration Mm. each belief has a vibration each action has a vibration mm. if i'm feeling sad try it at home for 24 hours be sad and then check the number of people that come close to you and the kind of people that come close to you mm. you'll see the quality of your emotions matches your environment mm. not just that tv shows will also show sure yeah. sadness yes you switch on a certain channel and you'll see sad scenes going on <laughs> yeah start believing that i'm lazy i'm lazy i'm lazy i'm lazy i'm lazy and lazy see the impact it has on your own body It, it your body starts responding to the words that you say because every cell of your body has energy and mm. these energy cells have vibrations it mm. has a certain frequency and mm. that frequency translates into manifestation of what actually happens so medicine i'm very intrigued by your science of neuroscience right yeah. the brain works on electricity mm. there are neurons in the brain billions of neurons in the brain Correct. how do these neurons work the number of neurons in the brain for any human being is the same mm. it's not like you have more neurons or i have less neurons yeah but what matters is the neuro connections how many neuro connections do you have for a podcast versus i do right if yeah. you have more neuro connections you have more experience in podcast yeah now if i learn how to program these neurons if i learn how to program these cells faster yeah then i'm learning how to vibrate at a faster frequency of what you did in 10 years i could do it in one year mm. and isn't there enough scientific research and study for it saying why is elon musk richer in faster period of time compared to anybody in the past the rate of learning the rate of learning yeah the speed of learning you've talked about it on your podcast yes. in terms of productivity many times and uh, there is a scientist called dr masaru emoto have you studied about yes. him yes yes so he has an experiment called the water experiment exactly yeah right and we do this every day in our life the moment we say i'm frustrated yeah. you're, you're vibrating at that frequency yes and you're going to find people who are going to frustrate you more yes But if you say I'm happy, I'm satisfied. Yes. A uh, lot of people say, but how can I say that if I'm not? Well, it's not. So it works two ways. Mm. You can feel it and then say it, of course, and you can say it and feel it. Yeah. But which way is the creation part versus happening part? Yeah. The happening part may be I met you, you made me feel good, and I said I'm happy. Yeah. But that's the happening part. But is life only about happening, or it's also about creation? Little of both, isn't it? always always so it's not a lot of people misunderstand law of attraction as i am god and i am creating no no it's co-creation mm. this, this we all have energy and we are all co-creating with each other mm. so you are happening to me but sometimes you may say negative words to me yeah but can i create something positive in me in the environment of you saying something negative to me that's law of attraction that's me controlling my frequency that's me controlling my vibrations yeah. Yeah. now why is this important to me for a simple reason people who are listening to this right now do you have goals of course health goals relationships career goals money goals i call it hrcm mm. each of these goals have vibrations mm. now if the moment you vibrate at the frequency of your goals it has no option but to come match you you'll attract people in your life coincidentally who will meet you who will guide you towards the direction where you want to go if you know how to vibrate at that frequency of your goals specifically mm. and i can give you mind blowing examples of thousands of students like that who've done it no we i i think we should give one is example is there an example that stands out in your yes, head yes we can give one example which yes, is please. which is like biggest one in our life at mm -hmm. least so we had uh, this case in 2019 there is one uh, air force pilot uh, fighter plane pilot he met with an accident he broke all his bones except one hand except one hand and um, 
he when uh, he approached us in 2020 his uh, wife g gifted him our book he read the book and he approached us and then mitesh asked him what do you want so mitesh <laughs> always ask whenever he is coaching what somebody do what do you want so mitesh asked him what do you want he said put me back in the cockpit oh and that's what he said and uh, all his bones were broken uh, his one leg was cut short by 3 inches mm. centimeters 3 uh -huh. centimeters uh -huh. And then he was uh, saying that I want to go back to co cockpit. Mm -hmm. Mitesh started working with him, started teaching him visualization, affirmations. We did a lot of work with him. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, in 2023, he was back in cockpit. He's back in cockpit. That's incredible. Yeah. And that is where, but how it happened, it's not just uh, we teaching him law of attraction. If you hear his story completely, every moment he got help, he got help from doctors, right of doctors course. appeared. He met the best doctor in the world. His offices, his officers, his yeah. government, his employer, everybody helped him out. They yeah. all went out of their way to help him out. Yeah. I mean, there are some things like uh, only this many days you can be on a official uh, off. He was given six months extra. Mm. One day he's just jogging. One doctor sees him and says, okay, come and meet me tomorrow. So the, when he goes and meets the person, he sees another surgeon. All these things happened because he was vibrating at a right nice frequency. right FTBA. He was vibrating at a frequency where he wanted to go back to cockpit. Mm. That's all. I can actually relate to some of this. Uh, when I was doing my post MBBS entrance exam study, so I was preparing for my NEED entrance, mm -hmm. uh, which is my postgraduate entrance. It is one of the toughest exams to crack. So there are lakhs of students and the field that I wanted, which was medicine, there were around 40 seats <laughs> wow. in Bombay. Crazy. Um, so, and, and I wanted to get it. I wanted to study in Bombay. There were moments in that year where I had given up. It was too difficult. I went through a bad preliminary exam, some test went wrong. And I thought, this will not happen. But because that vision of doing medicine in Bombay was so clear, mm. that I knew it was going to happen. Wow. I didn't know when, I didn't know how, but I knew it will happen. Perfect. So it, it was almost like reverse engineering success, mm. where you know that success is inevitable. Yeah. Now all you have to do is to try. So it makes the next day easier. You still get up and you go to work. Correct. You try your best, even though you have failed, because you know that success is inevitable. Yeah. Correct. Now, if I had not had that faith, yeah. I may have given up. Yeah. Absolutely. So a lot of this I feel is about resilience. Mm. True. You have that inner hope. You have that sense of, nay, I will not give up no matter what. People underestimate the power of that. Just Correct. resilience, hanging in there. Correct. There was a study that they did on uh, on rats. Okay, and they put a rat. They put rats into water, and they saw how long they were kicking to stay alive. Mm. And they would kick for around thirteen to fourteen minutes mm. before giving up, and they would drown. But then they picked up the rat as soon as they drowned, mm. and got them back made them warm, gave them food, and after some time, put them back into the water. And now imagine how long they must have tried to mm. stay in the water. Definitely more. Three days. <laughs> My God, three days. From 14 minutes, now they struggled for three days wow. before giving up because wow. now they had hope. Yeah. Because last time somebody saved them. Yeah. Now they will not give up. Yeah. So resilience is so much about hope. Correct. And when you are telling me the story about the pilot going back to the cockpit, that's what I'm thinking. So there's a second aspect to that. Perfect. Resilience is inside me. Yes. Right. Now, most of uh, us talk about working alone in life. My resilience, mm. my motivation, my confidence. Mm. If I work hard, everything will fall into place. Right. Yes. Now that's working alone. Law of attraction is about co-creation. Mm. Where now we don't only look at my resilience, but we start looking at that when I have resilience, and because I'm vibrating in that frequency of faith, mm. how suddenly I, I, I might start attracting the right person to support me in coaching when I'm doing my need. And did I attract the right people to just when I was giving up? Yeah. Like somebody got that mouse out. 
did somebody get you out during that time yeah. just when you were giving up and some partner some friend some said professor something. came in and said something yeah. you said no i'm not going to give up yeah i'm sure something happened in your journey to look back of course of and course and those were the moments of attractions in your life 100% i had my friends who were who were so supportive i had um, people who believed that this yeah. is going yeah. to happen yeah. um, but if you would have given up yeah if your resilience wouldn't have been there co-creation wouldn't have happened you wouldn't have attracted those people in your life yeah. so what is law of attraction law of attraction is being able to first identify what do i want like you said reverse engineer success yes the formula i say is ftba as if you already have it which means feel yeah. think believe and act right. as if you already have it sort of like the more complex version of fake it till you make it <laughs> yes it is it complex <laughs> and scientific yes very true yeah the fake it would be difficult to do because the word fake means act. yeah act. yes right but the moment we say feel it now we're talking about can you get into the science of how do i really feel it rather than mm. fake it so one of the programs we do is something called as daily magic practice every day at 9 pm to make people practice law of attraction mm -hmm. what do we do we make people feel it over there not fake mm. it Mm. Like when people sleep that night. So I have I've been doing DMP daily magic practice for three years back to back now. Mm -hmm. Not taking a break for three years. Every day at nine p.m. Monday really? to Saturday. Yeah, okay. more than. And we know. have thousands of written and video recorded case studies. Video recorded. Yeah. Depression gone. Anxiety gone. Mm. People who are not getting job for seven seven years got a job. There was a lady who was not getting pregnant for twelve years got pregnant. And these are not like three four case studies I'm talking about. They're like thousands. Mm. How? when they started practicing that resilience when they started vibrating in that frequency of the emotions which are exactly in alignment with their goals this hmm. in a scientific way not in a simple way hmm. a simple way would be just fake it hmm. it's difficult to do that because your brain says i'm faking it you would know when you're lying to yourself you would know right but when you're truly feeling that happiness you know you're not lying to yourself yeah and i can prove it in your body and the moment you feel it now when you sleep with that satisfaction all night yeah. the electrical pulses in your body in your brain literally vibrates at a different frequency hmm. and this frequency is always communicating with the energy around you right now so you have a frequency i have a frequency now when my vibrations match my goals if you are one of those people who can support me you'll come in my environment you'll we'll attract you'll find we'll attract. We'll attract. How, how do you think we found you one <laughs> <laughs> one test that i like to do with um, people when i have to highlight the importance of you find what you're looking for is um, currently you are looking at the scene the scene you're seeing everything or you think that you're seeing everything mm -hmm. now if i ask you to close your eyes and only focus mentally on the color red that's a good yeah, example good i love that example, example. Yeah. because then as soon as you open up only the reds pop out that's it and you will find reds where you would have sworn there was no red before correct exactly because now our mind is tuned to look for that okay. uh this has been noticed even in uh, people who have a low mood where low mood and ang anxiety leads to a greater level of threat True. in the brain threat perception at least Absolutely. threat perception and if there is a greater level of threat perception you see more threat so that's True. what confirmation bias is correct you are biased that you are in danger and you then everything confirms it, confirms it. Yeah. So biases are biases is a scientifically proven thing that has that keeps recurring in our lives every day. Right. Whether it's denial, whether it's affirmation, whether it's confirmation bias, Correct. positivity bias, negativity bias, these are spirals that take us down a particular path. In today in today's psychiatric or psychological treatment protocols, cognitive behavioral therapy is the is the foremost. That's true. Right. and a large part of cognitive behavioral therapy is changing your cognition mm. which is changing the way you think think and changing your behavior <clears throat> correct which is changing the way you act act and most of this is done by talking yes true sitting across somebody and saying okay i i know that you're thinking of things this way true. but here is another way another of thinking, way thinking about it so you give people a different framework yep. and just when the framework changes life changes yep. so in law of attraction one of the things we say is that many times it's giving people more options why hmm. people always naturally choose the best hmm. so people are not bad they just have limited options of course <laughs> of course you yes you give a criminal to have a better behavior and expand his options he'll choose the best he'll choose yeah. the best right you you take a beggar and you give him better options he'll choose the best yeah 
So many times, a lot of times in law of attraction, we say some people are struggling in money because their mind doesn't have better options right now. Mm. Mm. So they keep struggling in the same frequency of struggle. Yeah. But you give them more options in law of attraction to vibrate at the right frequency. Mm. You expand their options. They automatically choose the better version. Mm. The problem right now is they don't have the better version in their mind as a possibility. Their mind says, no, no, this is not possible for me. For you, it's possible. Yeah. May not be for me. For, it's, for you, it's easy. Mm. For me, it's difficult. Mm. What if I could take a human being for who believes podcasting is difficult for him and in 10 minutes, I make him believe it. Mm. Not at a fake level, but at a complex science level. Mm. That's NLP. That's law of action. Now that we've talked about the importance of the words, NLP has to be discussed. Yep. <laughs> yeah, of course. So neuro-linguistic programming, it's something that has fascinated me uh, because I know the power of words. Even in everyday conversation, uh, suppose if I'm talking to a patient, the way I explain the disease makes a difference. That's true. <laughs> in the prognosis, in the way they look at it, uh, if I were to explain it as something that they can never recover from and there's no hope, Correct. whatever medicine I give, the impact is going to be lesser. Versus if I leave them with a positive attitude yep. and they're looking at it, they're looking at the future with optimism. Absolutely. Their stress levels go down, their cortisol yep. levels go down, yep. their body's resilience increases. Yep. So the words I use matter and ev any, every doctor realizes Correct. this. In fact, everyone in every profession realizes. who is successful realizes that the way you speak matters. matters. Neuro-linguistic programming is reverse engineering that to use the right words to set your own mindset. Is that correct? Well... Wouldn't start with that. Okay. Neuro-linguistic programming, programming would really be, let's look at the whole full form. Neuro mm -hmm. is neurons. Yeah. Linguistic is the language of those neurons. Mm -hmm. So there's a certain language of our brain. Mm. Psychologically, mm -hmm. not just scientifically, which means, so what you see on the uh, screen when you do an EEG yeah. is a scientific language. Yeah. But there is a psychological language, mm -hmm. which has been discovered by NLP founders, mm -hmm. Richard Bandler and John Grinder. And I'm one of the master trainers for that. Mm -hmm. When you understand that language, then you can do the third thing, program. Our brain is a set of program of how you do things. Right? We, when we get up in the morning, we do certain things again and again. Mm -hmm. We feel certain things again. This is a program. We can change that program. Mm -hmm. right? So, for an example, let's say, uh, I'll, I'll give you a simple example that she'll talk about called swish pattern. Okay. NLP is a set of, not just words, it's a set of processes and techniques using which... Things which would take one year, two years, five years, 10 years can be done in 10 minutes. Take an example of somebody who's addicted to uh, sweets. Hmm. Can't stop. What, what is addiction? I see it. I can't stop my crave. Can't say no. Right? Can't say can't no to say it. No. I pick it up. I eat it. Yeah. In 10 minutes, I can make a person not touch it even if I give him his best chocolate in the world. Hmm. I hate it. Really. 10 minutes. and hate it. Hate okay. It. Now, how do you do that? She'll explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple. It's a simple technique in okay. uh, neuro-linguistic programming. You can just make the person first like that sweet, take his craving to the highest level yeah. and then start removing the factors which makes it like. For example, what do you like? Hmm. What do you like? like? Out of uh, foodstuffs? Mm -hmm. I'm scared to say it because what if you make me <laughs> now? <laughs> say you like a hot cup of tea. Yes. Okay. So then you you start reducing the uh, aspects of that hot cup of tea. So mm. if I make that hot cup of tea cold right now, mm. will you like it? No. I like it a lot lesser now. Yeah. Mm. So now if I make it stale. And look at your expressions. Yeah. Look at your, now it's I transfer it. Say you have it in your favorite mug. Yeah. I transfer it into this glass. Yeah. Would you like it? I like it less. You like it less. Yes. Like this, if I start yeah. reducing the aspects which you like about that thing or that person or yeah. that food, you will stop liking it. And that way we can make you get over your breakup also in one day, in one hour. So suppose if we are talking about a breakup, uh, yeah. the person that you are hung up over, yeah. mm -hmm. you remove the good parts of them or yes. you remove what you like about them one and by one. And replace it yeah. with the, what you don't like, don't about, like them. about them. So think of it this way. Hmm. You are seeing me, but you're not seeing me. Your brain is representing me in your own mind, in your own way. Correct. Correct. This, this is, is true. a simple language which we call a perception. Yes. So when you say you like tea or you're addicted to tea, so you're not addicted to tea. You're addicted yeah. to the perception your perception of tea. Yeah. So what I can change, I can't change tea, but I can change your perception of tea. Yeah. That's NLP. Yeah. And there are a set of multiple techniques. Mm. You use the technique with saying step one, step two, step three, step four, step five, boom. 
your addiction's gone down mm. and in i guarantee you i keep it in front of you you won't have it and it doesn't recur what is the success rate okay. that you guys have it requires repetition it mm. requires repetition now if i do it today with you for the next 3 days you will not not like it right but it will come back because the neuro connections are there right. so if, i'll give you a very crazy example very old friend of mine uh, one day came to my house and uh, he's when he came inside with his wife and his kid good friend his face told me something was wrong okay and i was like what happened and he's like dude you need to help me it's like what happened and he says i've been not telling you but i've been addicted to drugs Oof. and he said and he has a small girl at that time now he has another one and he says i've gone to the point now where i've touched injections mm. and he showed me his hands and he says now if i don't return i'm going to destroy my life mm. and i know you know nlp can you help I said of course so his wife was there uh, i took him in the bedroom in the when his wife was sitting in the hall we worked with him for 1 hour using a specific technique of nlp mm. there were multiple combinations that he used once you're a master practitioner right so we used a uh, switch technique we used anchoring we used uh, generalization like, deletion yeah. and distortion we used a uh, scrambling technique we used mm. all of that like this like there was a huge problem this was right. a huge problem right so you got to use a combination just like right. how you in neurology mm. for a simple headache you may give one tablet but right. the moment there's a complex problem you, you need a combination of chemicals yeah, yeah. in psychology you could use combination of these processes at one time believe it or not that day he quit mm. he's not touched drugs till now and it's been more than 15 years to that wow to jyada dur jaane ki zarurat nahi hai he quit his cigarettes also yeah. after yeah. meeting me i quit smoking using the same thing and it's been a it's, it had re- reached a problem level for me i was at two packets a day oh wow that's that a lot like every 10 minutes a cigarette that's a lot it's 40 cigarettes yeah. in a day right right and then using nlp which i learned from tony robbins first and then i did the master practitioner yeah i sat with myself for 2 hours did it on myself from that day to today i can't bear the smoke so what you're saying is that nlp is something that people can try on themselves and on others on Both. others and on others what yes. what is the difference between nlp and self hypnosis it is quite okay. similar actually but uh, self hypnosis is more like you are going Simplistic. to simple way you are going mm-hmm. to do it these are different very powerful techniques hmm. there is self- no trance involved here yes. there is no trance there ha. is no trance okay. so let's first understand what is trance in a very scientific way hmm. but trance is nothing but a different state of mind than where you are yes altered state of mind yeah you're where more that's... suggestible more suggestible no. yeah now in self hypnosis you're going to alpha hmm. you're going to an alpha frequency you're going to more suggestible state of mind hmm. right here you don't need to do that Mm. Here there are set of techniques saying so you say like dislike I can mm. take something that you like and make you dislike it mm. take you something dislike and make you like it mm. what if you don't like exercising but it's good for you mm. yeah if you have one of your goals in life is to lose weight in law of attraction when we use NLP as a combination what if I can make you like it wouldn't that be better than just saying remain motivated every day absolutely so willpower doesn't work why. because you require consciousness anything that requires consciousness over a period of time falls down yeah excellence comes at unconsciousness yeah the fourth stage of learning right okay. <laughs> you're unconsciously good at it when you're driving you're excellent at it but you're not conscious that i'm driving yes the worst stage of your learning was when you were consciously learning yeah but you went beyond it now you could either take years of practice to get to that unconscious excellence or you could use and use nlp and law of attraction and get there in a few days mm. it's just techniques Mm-hmm. same as i can learn how to be a doctor sitting at home reading books and watching youtube videos for free or i can come to medical institute and learn it in 3 days 3 years or 4 years or 5 years right, right? isn't it expert. a faster way of doing and it become an expert become an expert become an expert right that is what nlp law of attraction is it's about learning how your brain works vibrating at the frequency of your goals in a scientific way rather than just using willpower saying mm-hmm. i need to be more consistent mm-hmm. how many times you met the last person who said this new year i have decided i'm going to do this and he did it <laughs> i can't remember i can't remember no not even yourself <laughs> <laughs> but you bring that person to me and you say okay this is what you want these are the techniques you follow follow these affirmations follow this vision board yeah do these techniques you'll get it yeah and i have thousands of case studies to i'll just it. add little bit on the self hypnosis part the second thing best thing i like about nlp is it's quick 
Oh, yeah. It's very, very good. Mm. In case of self-hypnosis, you'll have to record, you'll have to meditate, you'll have to go in the alpha state yeah. and run that hypnosis for you for many days. Mm. Then it will program. Mm. But with NLP, you can do it quickly. For simple things, you don't even have to repeat. Yeah. Uh, to give you an example, we were doing one day chocolate addiction for somebody mm -hmm. and I was just recording it. Like mm -hmm. I was behind the camera recording it and chocolate I used to eat a lot. Now I don't eat chocolates. Once in a while really? I Can't pop be. in but it's not like a it's craving a, is yeah. not there for yeah. chocolates now yeah. anymore. Right. So that's NLP. NLP is super duper powerful. What I really like about it is that um, you are, you're changing your identity. Yes. Right? Because if you yourself come and say that uh, these are the words that I'm going to use mm -hmm. to describe myself. Correct. In a way, that's change of identity, which is one of the hardest things to do, actually. Well, it would be like uh, going to a neurologist and saying one of the hardest thing to do is to prescribe a medicine. Mm. But it isn't for you, is it? Mm. You've spent years doing it. Mm. One of the easiest thing for me to do is to work on somebody's identity because I've learned how to do that. It's, it's a certain level of mastery. Right. And, uh, and you're right. It is one of the strongest. Why? Because the strongest force in human psychology yeah. is to be aligned with one's own identity. Yeah. So the moment a person says, I'm lazy, now your entire psychology works yeah. to be aligned towards the identity you told it to be at. Absolutely. I am lazy. Yes. But the moment you say, I'm a doctor, different identity. It shifts who you are. Yeah. Right. The moment you say, I'm a life coach, it shifts who you are. When I started streaming on YouTube in the beginning of the pandemic, I was very much a doctor who in his part time has discovered something fun to do. Mm. Now, the way I was looking at content creation then, and the way I look at it now, when I quote unquote identify as a content creator, <laughs> you got it. world yeah. of difference. World of difference. Got it. I would have never ever considered buying three mics yeah. <laughs> or a camera or renting a studio because which doctor does that? But a content creator does that. Yes. Those decisions become so much easier just by switching your yeah. identity. identity. Now you can That's change it. that identity with years of experience or yeah. go through a course like Law of Traction or NLP and do it scientifically. <laughs> mm. Like an institution gives you that shortcut with 100 years of research in four years of study. Mm. Yep. That's exactly what I'm doing in Law of Traction. Yeah, I do agree with this because um, like you said, with, with time and experience, changes do happen. But yes. doing something like this is you signaling intent to yourself. Yep. Absolutely. This is not happening. No, consciously. love attraction mein ghusta nahi hai. Like You have to admit to yourself that I really want this. This is important to me. Correct. And by the simple act of admitting this, so much can happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is no doubt that everyone is different. Right? If you take in any classroom, there is an average of 10 students who are very good, and 50 students who are in the middle, True. 10 students who are struggling. Farak to hai logo mein. At what level does, do these principles work the best? Is it for minus one to zero, <laughs> zero to one or one to infinity? It's well, a new question. Let's understand. It's a very good question. It's actually. a new question. <laughs> so let's take an example of this. We know a friend mm -hmm. who has autism. Okay. Okay. And you would say, what can, as a, like the moment you tell a parent, your child has autism. What's the reaction? It's, uh, they're sad for it. They're shocked. shocked for it, right? Yes. Now, where law of attraction comes in is a parent would come to me and say, my parent, my child has autism. Can you help my child? Mm -hmm. Sir, I don't need to help your child first. Hmm. I need to change your identity about what you think about your child first because hmm. he's seeing his life through you. Yeah. And the moment we change the parent's identity about what they think about this child, what if I tell you this child has grown up today and become a coach in stock market and mm. is teaching people numbers and how to make money. And in every webinar, he does that at 2000 people, not 100. Wow. And makes few crores a month. And makes a few crores a month. Right? <laughs> yeah. He's a friend. He's a friend. How? Because you can take someone who's got autism and if you change their beliefs yeah. and you align them, see, a lot of people misunderstand NL, uh, law of traction as affirmations only. Mm. Right? Like I say good things, I say positive things and I attract it. Things will happen. No, it's not really true. Why? There are multiple layers in mm. human psychology. Feelings is one part, but then there's beliefs and values. Mm. You take Sachin Tendulkar and you give him affirmations. I'm the best singer in the world. <laughs> Do you think he's going to become the best singer in the world? You take Lata Mangeshkar and give her affirmation that I'm the best cricketer in the world. She's going to become a cricketer? No. Unlikely. <laughs> Unlikely, right? 
So why does it work in a certain way with certain people? Mm. You have to understand different layers of law of attraction, and one of them is your deep inspired values and beliefs, which you are not you are not trained into it. You are born with it. This mm. is in law of attraction we call it DNA memory. So if you do some work with Deepak Chopra, mm. Seven Habits of Highly Spiritual yes, I've People, read it. right? So he talks about a very powerful science of DNA memory. Mm. The moment you have DNA memory, which means that you have certain qualities in you which you've not learned, somehow you seem to have it. Mm. Just like that, there are some people who have these beliefs. If you can give them their goals based on their beliefs and values, boom, law of attraction works for them. Their affirmations will work in that category. I'm a big believer in going with the environment or changing the environment so that it goes with you. True. One of the two has to happen. Yeah. Yes. Because otherwise, you are constantly fighting. A losing battle. Mm. Eventually, okay. environment will win. Yes. Correct. Eventually. Correct. Right. You can only sustain for so long. What you said is a belief. Hmm. Yes. And this has a frequency. Okay. And you will attract people based on this. Correct. Because There's I will look for those people. I will look for find the book. those people. Look for the book, The Man's Search for Meaning, Victor of course, Frankl. Of course. Lived in an environment which was so critical. How can these examples exist in the universe where we are saying environment always wins? And then there is this guy called Viktor Frankl who lives in an environment where people would die just by the thought of going there yeah. in a Nazi camp. Yeah. He survives, comes back and writes a book on it. Yeah. How do you do that? Because there is a new belief. See now, you expand your possibilities of what beliefs are. Yeah. That is it possible that environment always wins? Mm. Is that true? Let's question that mm. because what is a belief? A belief is a statement you've stopped questioning. Yes, you're right because this is a man who was in the Auschwitz, the Nazi concentration camp. Correct. And he himself was a psychologist. Correct. <laughs> and he observed his own behavior. Yeah. He observed the people of the behavior of people around him. Yeah. Right. And he survived. Yeah. And he came out. He came yeah. out. He wrote such a book. And he wrote book. such an amazing book. Yeah. Uh, there is there is a line that you said about. Law of attraction not being just about wishing, uh, you also have to do something. Yep, Absolutely. action frequency. This is exactly what is written in Bhagavad Gita. Correct. Ah. Karma Yoga. So whatever your thought process is, finally it is your action that matters. Correct. So the way I look at it now is, as long as someone ends up doing the right thing. Correct. The reason so why they did it are so secondary it is completely their choice correct when i was in college i used to argue with my mom about religion mm. okay because she would say that okay it's a tuesday morning go to the temple <laughs> uh it's oh, it's been it's been nine days since you left home so don't come home on this day it is not right galat hai there are some belief systems correct. that are that are, that exist in religion every religion has its own set of beliefs every mom also has every mom has <laughs> it, absolutely so as you grow up you realize couple of things one mom is always right correct how she's right doesn't Nobody. matter but she's right so we starting my mom says my mom says <laughs> Uh, I have realized that when she prays for something, it always comes true. Mm. Absolutely, I can never explain it. Mm. But uh, even if I don't believe, I will still say that. Mom, kar lo. Ha, just put in a word, you know. Correct. Just baat kar lo upar wale se, and so it works. It works because, as you said, the karma works, and there is a science behind that. So, yeah. if you go to the book which I've written, which is the Law of Attraction, hmm. the secret is the book that made Law of Attraction famous. Yes, I love to say it's a bit of an exaggeration, but it's not. And where that book ends is where this book starts. When something shifts in the universe in one level, something shifts in the on earth on another level. There's always an impact. Mm. We call it the butterfly effect. Yes. You must have read the book. Yes. How the tsunami happens. Mm. Why does that work? Because the universe is one. You say something even in your mind about me. Mm. Negative. You must have experienced this. You think something negative about a friend. Start judging him. Mm. Don't tell him. Mm. Just start judging him. In a few days, he comes and asks, is something wrong? Is everything okay? <laughs> yeah. How do you do that? Yeah. You're thinking about a friend whom you've never met for many years and you suddenly talk about that friend. In the evening, this friend calls you. How do you do that? Yeah. At the thought level, the frequency of you and your friend has matched. Scientifically speaking, when I take a mobile and I call a number, you're not dialing a number. Scientifically, you're dialing a frequency. Mm. Is it possible to dial my mom's number and connect to my father? No. Mm. What if you could learn this science at a behavioral level? What if you could learn that, okay, I want to have a million subscribers on my podcast. Mm. 
Now you could do it the hard way. Mm-hmm. No doubt. Work hard 10,000 hours. <laughs> or you could do it the effortless way. Which would be? Vibrate at the f- now I'm interested. Now I'm making notes. <laughs> vibrate at the frequency of having those million subscribers first scientifically. Mm-hmm. I, I already know you value it. So it's aligned with your values. Correct. You believe it. Start doing your right affirmations which I give you. Use the right vision board which I give you. And in a few days, you'll suddenly see your channel skyrocketing. Mm. And I've done it with people in my own team who want to become life coaches. So we do life coaching certification. People who've come and they've got no channel at all. Mm. And I guarantee them, I said, you follow these steps, you'll have thousand subscribers in a week. And they do. Mm. And I'm not teaching them to have the right thumbnails, <laughs> all the strategies, right? Like have the right camera, have the right, nothing. Take your camera off your phone, start, just do the right law of attraction frequency mm. because the universe is made of vibrations, not thumbnails. Mm. <laughs> I find it, I do find it interesting because um, a lot of times we tend to over complicate something where, uh, and it's almost like a defense mechanism. We want to get something done. Say, for example, I want to start running. This has happened a few times. I'll mm-hmm. give the example of running. I say, I want to go running. Now I have to go shoe shopping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I have to do research about which shoes are the best and then which shoes will go with which socks. Correct. And then I realize that I can't run if I don't have a smartwatch mm-hmm. because how do I track my calories? And before I know it, one month has gone. I've not run. <laughs> I've <laughs> spent a lot of time on Amazon, but I've not run. You got it. <laughs> so when you say that it this this idea of law of attraction will fast track something, yeah. the way I see it is that again, if I signal intent to myself so strongly, then a lot of these tangential parts will just go away. They'll just go away. And jo kaam karna hai, wo karunga yeah. Because if For you to run, if you really want to run, <laughs> you just run. you'll just wear some sneakers and run. Right. Or even without shoes. <laughs> without shoes. <laughs> you know, and you call it barefoot running now. Yeah. It's a fashion. It's a fashion. You'll not wait for the watch or the socks or the shoe. Yeah, exactly. It's just that your FTBA is not aligned to the running. Yes. Hence, you're not running. So remind me again, it's feelings, thoughts, thoughts beliefs and actions. Beliefs and actions. So you said something interesting. If I do the right work, automatically things will fall into place. Yeah. Think, is that always true? Hmm. Right? A lot of people work hard. They do the right things. Yes. And then they complain saying, you told me to do graduation. You told me to do this. I did this. Why am I not getting a job? Mm. I went for interviews. I studied. I did everything you said. Yeah. Why am I not getting a job? Yeah. Right? I'm, I learned how to cook. I learned how to dress up well. I learned how to talk to a boy properly. Why am I not getting married? Mm. Why? Mm. And then we'll come up with excuses of not losing weight because I've got hormonal problems. Or I'm not getting married because uh, guys are stupid. Mm. Or I mean, we come up with excuse to justify confirmation bias that something is not wrong with me, but with the environment. We need a cause and effect Correct. all the time. Yes. But if you see actions have to be backed with FTB. Mm. If it is not, so one of the, uh, there, there's two different laws of attraction is what I call as basic law of attraction and advanced law of attraction. Mm. Basic law of attraction is just doing simple techniques, which you can learn anywhere on YouTube. Affirmations. Vision board, hope, no, no, mm. gratitude technique, simple things. You can hear them anywhere. Mm. Positive thinking. Mm. Right? That's all, all speakers yes. are talking about. All speakers about. talk about. It. Yes. But that's basic. The reason the skepticism in the industry and why I'm here to address this is because people are using basic law of traction without understanding the advanced part of it. So it will not work every time. Example, huh. one of the advanced law of traction lessons we teach in this lesson number two in my workshop is align your FTBA first. Then your affirmations will work. Mm. Example, I'm doing an affirmation. Um, I've lost weight, I've lost weight, I've lost weight, I've lost weight. At the feeling level, I'm feeling lazy. My thought is, I don't exercise karke kuch hota nahi hai. <laughs> hai? My belief is, I don't do anything like that, my body doesn't respond to the exercise. How do you eat? How do you eat? There's something I've heard a lot, yes. Right? And now I'm going to the gym. Yeah. And then I suddenly realize I'm not consistent. See, feeling is going in this direction, thought is going in that direction, belief is, I don't know where the action is going. Why? Because... And now you're saying affirmations, I've lost weight, I've lost weight, I've... Bullshit, you've of got, you're not going to lose weight. Yeah. Right? Because your affirmations are not in alignment with your FTBA. Yes. You've got to align that. Yeah. Then it'll work. This layer is the complexity which we don't hear about advanced exactly. law of action. Yeah. It's like saying, you have a headache, take a set it on. Come to a neurologist, he'll tell you different reasons you have a headache. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you've got to study that. Yeah. This makes it, uh, this gives such a beautiful uh, overview to the framework because the criticism 
of law of attraction is that oh they just say something and they sit and wait yeah ki chalo kuch to hoga which does not work no it's not their mistake also the mm. book secret says that yeah. that mm. you visualize, you visualize a, and you get it so let's take the example of this podcast if i sit at my place and visualize that i have a podcast with sid right. and if i don't drive down here don't reach out to you don't ca- contact you right. it's not going to happen i yeah. have to take action towards right. it just visualization and affirmation will not help you gave the example of some people succeeding while others don't even if everybody works hard yeah uh i want to take the example of the most successful people in the world yeah say elon musk yeah or novel uh people i look up to uh in terms of their productivity in terms of their creativity how they think out of the box sure i recently found out that all of these guys have their own coaches of yes course. life coaches people to guide them uh can you explain why that is even at that level people have already coat and coat succeeded in the game of life yep. why do they need coaches and what what are those coaches doing to them that others should also know about yeah it's a good question there is the worst person to advise yourself is yourself <laughs> hmm why who created our problems we did yeah how can i create problems and solve for myself that's what people are doing right now mm. they they create weight problems and trying to solve their own weight loss yeah. they're creating relationship problems trying to solve their own relationship problems So if you go to a married couple who's struggling and you say okay go to this life coach he'll teach you how to solve your marriage problems people say ye meri shaadi ke bare mein mujhe kya sikhaya agar aapko shaadi ke bare mein itna pata hai to aap struggle kyun kar rahe ho this there's a saying failure teaches you a lot that's bullshit <laughs> failure doesn't teach you anything success teaches you everything mm. why failure teaches you what not to do success teaches you what to do mm. <laughs> yes failure as a feedback mechanism yeah is important is the only way do. that works yes it will teach you don't go in this lane it's a dark yes. lane don't go there but does it tell you where is the white lane no it does not it's just, it's still trial and so error so what's my agenda not to go to the dark lane hmm. or to go to the white lane what's my agenda agenda says so then i want to work on success so where do i find the success i don't have it hmm. so first i go to successful people who've done it which are mentors or which are mentors coaches or life coaches yeah i go to somebody who's done it hmm right you've done podcasting now i can sit at home and i can do trial and error and do how to do the mics and this and that and i can find free videos to do that by the way yeah or i can come to sit and say sit can you please take this money tell me what are your charges teach me how to do podcasting yeah how to do setup. how much tell me what's your experience of this entire podcasting experience how many years yeah. have you taken to be where you are today three and a half years most people would say wow i want to do what sid is doing they start doing it today yeah. and they believe if they have the same camera same mic in 24 hours they'll be where sid is yeah. no sid has taken 3 and 1/2 years to be where he is so here's an interesting thing though that a lot of so this setup took 3 and 1/2 years yeah but the personality took 35 exactly there you go so you now go. how do we so when i come to sid yeah sid gives me a hack of what he did in 3 and 1/2 years yeah. in 3 and 1/2 days or 35 years what if i could sit with you yeah and if you were a life coach even if you're not right now but if even if you're an ordinary person who's not a life coach mm. if i start asking you the right questions you'll give me a framework of what you did in the last 3 and 1/2 years right yeah i could use that framework and do that faster by avoiding things you did wrong doing things that you did right yeah. and i could now faster instead of 3 and 1/2 years i can go there in 3 and 1/2 months which is the story of human evolution exactly. i mean how else did we get to this point exactly yeah or we can struggle trial and error imagine if every household had to invent fire <laughs> they would all be <laughs> still in so caves <laughs> why so life coaching is truly about fast tracking your life so we have a life coaching program which we call as platinum membership which mm-hmm. is for lifetime we mm-hmm. most programs in india right now are expensive mm-hmm. what i mean by that is and i've gone through that and i'm still going through that where you pay a one time fees but for yearly mm-hmm. you have a yearly membership for life coaching okay most coaches do that Okay. One of my missions is because the kind of background I've had, I know how much struggle I've gone through to invest that money to learn what I have learned today. Mm. So that empathy taught me one thing. I want to give what I have for a one-time investment, but lifetime learning mm. because it's too expensive. Not everybody can invest the kind of money I have. So when we created this platinum membership, in this life coaching, one of the best things we do is we say ten years of success in one year. One year is what our commitment is. What does that mean? whatever problems you've had in the last 5 years mm. check more or less the same mm. fair mm. why do you have those problems because you don't have certain life skills mm. what if i could take all those life skills and give it to you in next 3 months 
Yeah. Wouldn't you be able to succeed at anything that you failed in the last five years? Yeah. Is it really rocket science to learn motivation skills? Is it really rocket science to learn how to influence a person and get into a relationship? Is it really rocket science to learn how to be a good listener and to connect to your life partner and to accept them and to understand? Is this really rocket science? No. But why aren't people learning it? Because they're not learning from a life coach. They're doing yeah. trial and error. Yeah. Okay, do yeah. trial and error. You can take 20 years to be there. Yeah. Or you could learn from a life coach and find a relationship that you've never had before for the last 10 years and get it within one year. Yeah. We've had people who've never, uh, they've had two, two divorces, not being able to succeed in a relationship. And they do life coaching and platinum and they find their right life partner in three months. And it's been one year, they're still happily married. How? It's not just about attracting your goals. Mm. It's about having the right life skills to maintain those goals. Yeah. Right? I mean, you could be uh, the best player in the world and then fail. We know who was opposite to Sachin Tendulkar when he was the best. Yeah. There was another player. Yeah. I don't want to name him. But of course. He succeeded. Supposedly called as better than Tendulkar. Yeah. But did he maintain it? No. What if you could learn not from him, but from Tendulkar? What did he do right? Wouldn't you learn faster? 100%. That's life coaching. Yeah. Instead of wasting time and money. And if you really observe the amount of time and money we waste in learning to achieve our goals in health, relationship, career and money by experiment yeah. is crazy. Like think about people who invest money in stock trading nowadays. Yeah. Without learning from without YouTube, learning. Yeah. Without, without learning. Knowing, without Correct. learning. There are so many examples of people going Correct. bankrupt. They just see candles everywhere and they That's don't it. know what to do with it. They don't know what exactly. to do with it. They go to some telegram group and look at some tips and invest and yeah. they make a little bit money. So they, now they believe they are the best. Yeah. So they invest more and that, that's when they lose the money. Yeah. At some point, our emotions take over. Yeah. So there is greed, there is um, jealousy, there is yes. rage. No, more than the, um, Sid, I'm sorry to disagree no, here, but more than the greed and jealousy, because I know this gentleman very well. Mm -hmm. It was more, uh, we feeling that we know it now. We mm -hmm. don't need to learn from the expert. Right. You start doing few things. You lost one kilo and you start feeling, okay, I know and that how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And you start uh, uh, making money, say a few thousand you made from the stock market. And he started feeling that now I know it. Mm. I can do it. I've cracked the formula. Now I made a mm. few thousand. Now okay, I can make a few lakhs mm. or maybe a few crores. Mm. So what's but the belief here that she's talking about? I know it. I know yeah. it. Yeah. One thing that comes out to me from this discussion is that the challenges that one faces in the initial part of the journey is very different from the challenges that you face in the middle right. and very different at the highest levels of success. Very true. So probably you spend so much time learning the skills that you need from to get from zero to one that once you go from one to 10, you feel out of depth so because the same coaches. skills may not help you now. So you go to different coaches. Yes. At this level, you go to this level of coach. At this level, you go to this level of and coach. Does that exist? Of yes. Course. Of levels course. of coaches. 100%. Yes, of course. 100%. How do you yeah. find them? It's very easy. Think about what your goals are. Hmm. Go find the person who's already achieved that goal. Hmm. And in that field, you'll find a person who's already willing to teach. Just need to pay him and learn it. Yeah. Right? Like there's this guy whom I met recently who's made 10 million subscribers in 10 months. I'd like to meet him. <laughs> exactly. I've been partnering with him to teach our students in Platinum Membership right. how they can do that. Right. Wouldn't it be better that I learn from him rather than me experimenting? Yeah. 100%. You find your goals, you find your mentors. Yeah. <laughs> we have we have loads of mentors uh, in our life also. We have yeah. mentors for life. We have mentors for health, relationship, career and money. We get every day we get a gym coach at home who takes care of our gymming, our workouts, yeah. everything. I mean, yeah. we now know how to gym. We can do it ourselves. But no, no. we get a coach. Yes, need to. Yeah. And it decreases cognitive load, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. You don't have to take those decisions. You have to take one good decision which is outsource this decision making to this person. To right? an expert. To an expert. Why would you go to a doctor otherwise? Correct. You don't have to think, you don't have to do 10 years of research. Correct. This is not a conversation that happens in most households in India. Yeah. Yes. Nobody talks about this. No one, no one. But I'm guessing that that's not the case in the richest households or the people who have already gone through this journey. They would know the importance of having someone like this. Yeah. No middle class family talks about having a coach. No. They may talk about, they'll talk about plumbers and electricians. They talk <laughs> yeah. about garage mechanic, corner, uh, having a lawyer, a CA, but Correct. no life coaches because they think we should do this Correct. by ourselves. Correct. Correct. This flips that argument because now what you're saying is that it is cheaper in the long run to have somebody guide yes. you so that you're making less mistakes over time. Correct. Yes. There was an experiment that they did on uh, patients with Parkinson uh, 
So in Parkinson's disease, dopamine levels go down. Yep. The dopamine uh, network is damaged. Correct. Um, and because of that, their arm swing reduced. Mm. So they would walk with their arms stiff on the mm. side. Oh. Now they tried this with patients with early Parkinson, where they were asked to forcibly move their arms wow. while walking. So they were advised to go for walks. But what is naturally a stiff state, they were asked to move their arms as much as possible. And that in turn led to their mood getting better, right. led to them feeling better. Because our body figures that you need more dopamine for arm swinging. So if yeah. our arms are swinging, that means that there is more. So the, it's like a feedback loop yeah. that sets mm -hmm. in. Which is uh, which is so fascinating because there yeah. are so many of these little things that you can do with your own body yeah. where you feel calmer. Mm. Another one is dissociating with your eyes, which is looking at the horizon. Mm. Because we are always looking at closed walls Correct. for pretty much the entire day. But if you can let your eyes zoom out mm. and see things in your periphery, you feel calmer. Yep. Yeah. So these are some feedback tricks that yeah. uh, people sure, have figured yeah. out. Absolutely. There's a book called Biology of Belief. Mm. Belief has a biology. It's Absolutely. in your body. Absolutely. What does that mean? If I'm saying affirmations, I'm successful, I'm successful, I'm successful, but I don't believe it. Why will law of attraction work? Yeah. Because law of attraction is a science. It's not focus, focus, positive thinking. It's not like I say I'm successful and suddenly I'll start attracting good people. No. But if I believe it, yeah. right? Like to give you a very simplistic example, crazy example that all boys will relate to right now. If I believe I'm good enough, and I can make anybody charm my way and I can, yeah. I can talk to a girl and I can like, I can charm my way in. Yeah. My friend Imran believes that. <laughs> <laughs> and believe me, then you'll be able to do it. Right. But if I don't believe in myself and I have doubt, like, I think I'm not good looking. Right? Like, I think I'm not good enough. Mm. I believe that about myself. And now I'm, I've been told to talk to a beautiful girl. Yeah. And I want to talk to that beautiful girl. And I'm saying affirmations. She likes me. She likes me. She likes me. You think it's going to work? No. People can sense your energy, your yeah. frequency. When you go close to people, you're emitting frequency to people. That's the electrical pulses we talk about. Yeah. In brain chemicals, it's an interesting research which is called as magnite. Mm -hmm. Magnetic pulses. There's are literally crystals in your brain now which has been discovered recently mm. in neuroscience. There's literally crystals discovered in your brain called magnite. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I read that research. Theory. Did you read that? <laughs> I did. We I don't did. know whether it's true yet. Yeah. So those are, those are, those are different kinds of crystals. Yes. So those are Not the same crystals as what we are talking yes. about. Yes. Right. But the point is they have energy. It's mag it's Everything is vibrating at a mm. certain pulse. So when I go close to a girl or I go to a, close to a person, he or she's feeling my energy. Mm. And if I'm saying false affirmations within me and I don't believe it, they'll feel it. And then they'll say, yeah, kuch to off is ke mein. This is very interesting. Uh, <laughs> recently, Magnus Carlsen, who is um, the chess grandmaster uh, and world champion for almost a decade now, except for the last two years where he stopped playing uh, classical chess because he was just bored. Uh, he gave an interview where he said that there is not much difference in the top 10 players, except for confidence. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. He, said that, he said that when I sit to play, I can sense the confidence level of the person ahead of me and then I modify my game according to that yep. <laughs> because it's all about confidence at yep. that level because otherwise skills are all everybody has those at that level mm. everyone has those but the mentality makes a big difference yep. so the confidence level will decide if I win or lose yep. so I'll give you an example of that uh, in corporates when we did 17 years of workshops yeah, we would take top management for workshops because to give you an example, there was this one international company who came to us and said, one of the big four consulting firms, mm -hmm. they said, and this is exactly during COVID times, mm -hmm. when everybody is slashing targets, this company, the owner, the CEO comes to me and says, Mitesh, I know what you do. And my team has a target this year and everybody's saying slash the targets. Mm -hmm. I don't want to slash it. You see, this is how leaders are a little different. They expect more from you when you don't think you can do it. Mm -hmm. So he said, I want you to do only one thing. I know there is market capacity. I don't need your help there. I know these guys have the capacity. I don't need your help there. I, I have don't the have the resources. Also. I have the strategy also. I don't need your help there. Just do me one favor. Guess what? Give them the confidence to... Just make them believe they can make do it. Make them believe mm. that they can do it. If you can do that for me, I'll pay whatever you want. 
So, and we charge a bomb over there. Yeah. <laughs> and it was only eight people. Huh? Just eight people. Oh, really? Board of directors. Board right? of directors. We had a motivational talk with them, of course, where we made them, came, the, uh, got them out of the comfort zone. After that, we did bar bending with them, which is an activity where it's a six feet long rod, say, uh, six mm in thickness. We put it on two people's neck and we make them bend uh, by coming closer to each other. We did that. And after that, we made them walk on the fire. And after that, they did deliver their numbers. Yeah. Mm. Why did we make them walk on fire? It was a metaphor of, this is impossible, right? Like walking and how much fire we are talking about. We're talking about six feet long fire. Mm. Burning fire with 20 many kgs of coal, one inches thickness of the coal. It's like a coal bed. It's not yeah. just sprinkled coal. And it's not just burning coal. So Indu would be fueling before every person goes again because there are just eight people. So, so she's fueling wow. diesel. So the flames are coming up two feet high up beyond your knees. Wow. And you got to walk through that six feet. And these eight people are walking through it. But before they walk through it, we put them into the belief. Hmm. And we check with their kinesiology saying, I believe I can walk on fire. And if they got that strength, now they can walk and they do walk. They finish that fire walk. Okay. Now we ask them to say, can you achieve these hundred million dollars? Yes. Okay. Let's check it again. Yes. Now they believe it. Now they work. So actions are supported by your beliefs. You remember what I was saying? FTBA. Yeah. So you do the right thing without the belief. Doesn't work. You do the right thing with belief. Boom. And I'll connect this back to the NLP as well. Yeah. Why we do the fire walk? We are anchoring them to the fire. Mm. So now this belief that you can achieve this XYZ target mm. with the fire walk. So mm. every time they see the image, they know that the, they could walk on the fire. That means they can achieve these numbers. Mm. So they got anchored to the firework. They talk about this firework with almost everybody because it's a big deal. Mm. And every time they are talking about the firework, their anchor is getting fired mm. that they can achieve that target. Mm. And that makes them more achieve the targets actually. This sounds like magic. <laughs> but the fact that it does happen and it happens again and again, it yeah. happens to pretty much everyone who goes through such a belief system yes. change is proof that... Um, there is so much more that we need to learn yes. about this belief. So the way that modern science, the way that medicine has worked throughout the years is that we've dealt with the more life threatening problems first, like infections, malaria, tuberculosis. And then we are slowly, slowly coming towards more chronic illnesses like Alzheimer's, Parkinson. Mm -hmm. And now we are just started understanding mental health. Correct. Yes. Right? We have reached till there. When we talk about belief and the power of faith and hope, science has not reached to that yet because we had more uh, urgent things to solve. Right. Religion has done that. Yep. Yes. Religion started from that Good point side, of view. Right. Because the amount of faith that the amount of resilience that somebody got after doing a puja yeah. was incredible. Yep. Right. So Mrityunjaya Homam, for example, that uh, it's against death. Uh, yeah. somebody's sick at the hospital, they hear that my Mom family is done with Tinjai Homam, they've done yeah. that, they get faith. And that makes a difference. Their actual parameters change because of that. Right. Yeah. Now, what's interesting about this particular conversation is this is the meeting point of trying to put scientific lens to something that humanity has been doing forever. Correct. Yes. Through religion and faith. That's a good connection. It is going to be messy. Mm -hmm. I already know that because any kind of coming together of fields is always messy. Absolutely. And currently we are in that transition period. True. Where yes. one is trying to understand the other and True. it is a language problem. Yeah. Right. Because what yeah. words we do we use. Correct. Uh, when we use a word like vibration. Hmm. Two people can form very different meanings very true. of that word, which is what leads to a lot of fights. True. Yes. What do you mean by vibration? What do you mean by manifestation? Correct. Because there is no common dictionary between Correct. these Absolutely. two fields. But the fact that so many people are getting benefit. Yes. For me, that is the most important thing. Yep. Absolutely. The explanation can wait. But if there is benefit, let's not throw anything out. That's a good point. Like I said, I, I came in with the perspective of a cynic. Like I'm, I was skeptic. Sure. Over the last two years, three years, the more neuroscience I read, the more I understand that so much is happening in the brain, which is just beautiful. Yeah. Biology of belief is beautiful. Yeah. In 10 years, 15 years, there'll be a lot more evidence on how these systems work. Work. But th does that mean that for that much time, we don't 
help people find belief no that also doesn't make sense to me yeah. that's why when you describe these stories i uh, actually connect with it because i know that i use them for myself True. thank you uh, stories that i create just out of thin air just because it helps me True. and i hope that more and more people find this uh, they make use of it and that their own lives get better absolutely thank you I'm very curious about what this is. Okay, <laughs> so this is a crystal we use mm-hmm. to, as you say, when two worlds come together, mm-hmm. uh, there's conflict, there's collision because of lack of understanding. And one of the things that helps people understand is evidence, mm. like proof. And when people see something, they believe it better. Although law of attraction is a little more about what you can't see. Can you manifest that first, and then can you believe it first, and then manifest it? Yeah. but to prove that it works sometimes we need metaphors to experience that right so what is law of attraction saying law of attraction is saying that my energy of my feelings thoughts beliefs and actions my ftba yeah. is interacting with the world around me yeah and if i'm thinking positive it's attracting right people to me if i'm thinking negative it's attracting wrong people to me yeah. in my book i have given example of a guy who's not got a job after giving 12 interviews mm. comes to my house practices with me learns the micro movements in his brain to create the right energy frequency 7 days gets a job Yeah. Then he in gets a, a very, second friend in a very good uh, organization. Very good organization. <laughs> Then he gets a second friend who's his girlfriend. She gets a job, just to prove it. Like you said, repetition shows something, right? Yeah. A third friend who was not getting a visa <laughs> got rejected twice. Gets a visa the third time and goes to US. He's still in US right now. <laughs> so the idea is not to just learn the crystal part of it, yeah. because this is just learning the science part of it. It's But how do you translate this to? It's a matter. Yeah. It's how do I implement this in my life? That yeah. in my body language right now if i can learn those micro movements and learn the right thoughts to ma- to be able to maneuver them yeah. i can maneuver my life in the direction which i want to mm-hmm. and attract what i want in my life because eventually people who are watching us right now why are they watching us they want to attract some goal in their life and they're interested in what sid is saying or what mitesh or what indu is saying yeah. may translate in helping them achieve their goals yeah. which is only in four areas of life health relationship career and money for some of them it's a million subscribers <laughs> <laughs> some of and us we, and we help uh, th- during the daily magic practice we help them maneuver that life actually yes so you mentioned that you have a course ongoing which has been going on for the last 3 years called yes. daily magic program yes. practice daily magic practice dmb yes. yes is this something that people can join Absolutely. Yes. So usually there's a paid program, mm-hmm. but for our audience who's watching us today, because you've invited us, it's our gift to you. In fact, we'll give you two gifts. One is the 30 days daily magic practice and the first lesson, which is the master class of advanced law of attraction. Mm-hmm. Both will be available to you. The link will be in the description. We'll probably also We can, scroll it somewhere down yes, here. Yes, you can put it here and uh, register it quickly so that you get access to the entire 30 days daily magic practice plus the entire master class on exactly what is difference between basic law of attraction and advanced law of attraction. and Incredible. i'll briefly tell you what happens in 30 days uh, daily magic practice there mitesh actually makes you helps you make your affirmations mm. and s- program your mm. subconscious mind to meet those affirmations yep. mm. and we have thousands of success stories where people have achieved their goal and then they s- slowly came to advanced law of attraction and platinum membership so one thing that makes me curious is you are an nlp coach uh, law of attraction coach but are you also a practitioner of uh, of the things that you are telling other people to do absolutely yes. practitioner <laughs> yeah practitioner, very much practitioner so what was one of the biggest lessons that you've learned or something that you've experienced that proved your own faith in what you're teaching so the moment you start knowing that you can create something you can manifest something that is not normal that's the biggest proof that yes. now you're using law of attraction and you're mastering it and you're truly truly practicing it right so one of the biggest proofs in my life is Uh, we all grew up watching movies we wanted to be like superheroes we wanted to be like the heroes in the movies right and one of the dreams i have always had a very crazy dream is one day i want my courses to be endorsed by a celebrity hmm. right so one day i decided i said let's do this as a manifestation and let's see if it works so i wrote my affirmations down i started visualizing it i started using my own nlp techniques on myself to make sure my biology believes it first and i remember when i told that thing to her for the first time she said are you crazy <laughs> why like why will you do it i said magic so in law of attraction we say don't ask how just use the magic just do it don't ask how and i started using it few weeks after that i meet the right friend and here is what happened <laughs> my manifestation was to have rithik roshan as my brand ambassador and okay. he is now okay. and right now he is our brand ambassador few weeks from that manifestation that i started doing we started attracting a good friend in our life 
who we were just generally sharing with this friend. Mm-hmm. Her name is Hetal, mm-hmm. uh, and we were talking to Hetal, and she said, "Hey, I know somebody who knows Ritik Roshan." Mm-hmm. And we were like, "Wow, this is crazy, <laughs> right? Like law of attraction." Then can you put us to this person? She said, "Yes." So we found this right person. One week later, we were sitting in Ritik's house on his sofa in his office room, right in front of him, the way I'm sitting with you, discussing the requirements. <laughs> and it was the most humbling experience of my life because it was the biggest proof. Yeah, this works. Like this, <laughs> there is no logical reason why this should happen. Mm. But there is all the law of attraction magical reason why this should happen, and it did happen. And today is our official brand ambassador. Congratulations on that. Thank that's, you. That's, Thank that's you. A, that's a pretty huge thing. Uh, I also feel that once you've said it out loud, would you have asked your friend for a contact if you would not have mm-hmm. given that no. manifestation for no. yourself? No. 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 It again comes down to the magic of action. Yes. Yep. It always, ultimately, always, always, karma always, yoga. Always, always. Yep. The A has to be there. The, the A has, has to be, be there. there. Yeah. So. A, it cannot be manifested without A. Yeah. The whole science. Karma yoga forever. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's a good line. Karma yoga for you. In today's time, when uh, I, I believe that almost everyone is struggling in some way uh, because of what they want versus how the struggles that they go through in achieving that dream. when we join something like this uh, would you say that the main impact is on someone's resilience their creativity is there one particular side of them that improves uh, what can they hope once what they can join they hope? okay so the first thing they can hope is have a lot of fun <laughs> <laughs> didn't expect that right no i did not yep. <laughs> that we, sounds good yeah so we literally start the session with 500 people dancing every day every day every yeah. single day so have a lot of fun because the moment you have fun and i'm sure you know this lots of dopamine in the body mm-hmm. the body language goes in the right place the emotions go in the right place now let's learn mm-hmm. because then when you learn with fun it goes into your subconscious it literally goes to every cell of your body and that's where the vibration starts working mm-hmm. so fun expect a lot of fun expect a lot of what i like to call as magic mm-hmm. after that like effortless magic things which you are not expected will start happening people who had you had not anticipated will help you will start helping you opportunities you thought were not available will start being available right right things you thought you could not do you will start doing mm. that will start happening <laughs> yeah because of vibrating the right being in your body in terms of how you feel about yourself and once that fun starts happening the magic will start happening so that's what they can expect and this is something that you can do by yourself or you can do it as a group as a couple as a family you can do it with the entire family can attend and we do it as a group so yes. mitesh appears live every day every it day. happens every day live mm. it's not a recorded session mm. it's a live session monday to saturday every day mitesh appears live every day there is a different topic on mm. subconscious programming mm. and we all do it as a group but mm. the participants participate with the family yeah. we have kids we There have uh, spouses also. we have uh, in-laws parents everybody is attending mm. and we have all types of people we have a person from a kid from 5 year old to 65 75 85 also really yeah. yeah so i'll give you an example there's a family where there's a guy who was attending and because it requires a certain amount of having fun and all so the family started saying are you mad like what are you doing and in two weeks he got some goals achieved which was crazy which he shared so people get an opportunity to share their results over there yeah. prove it so he got those goals achieved and then his one, then one family member joins in the activity yeah. then the second one comes and the third and now the whole family is doing it together Yeah, the whole family get together. Whole family. We have uh, one more member where the couple actually joined. Mm. They had a fifteen-year-old kid, and they had their parents. They were not joining. Slowly, very, very slowly, they, these people used to sit in the drawing room and attend. Slowly, the kids started attending. The parents started joining. They were earlier. They were in the periphery. Then they started coming in the frame. Now they all five members are in the frame. <laughs> oh, it's fun. There is a. Quick rapid fire that I want to do with you. Uh, it's you can think of it almost like a game. It's mm-hmm. nothing too serious, um, and it's about law of attraction. Sure. Because again, so many controversial opinions going around. So let's just hear your your take on some of these questions. Sure. Law of attraction is it science or fiction? Science. Science. If you want to know more about this, watch the whole podcast. <laughs> uh, is it a quick fix or is it a long term solution? It's long a long-term term solution. solution. Long-term solution. Uh, is it based on? Is it universal or does it only apply to some people somewhere? Universal. Universal. 
It's a science. So it's, it's a science. universal. universal. Manifestation versus manipulation. Is, there, is it the same? Is it different? Manifestation. Very manifestation. different. Manifestation. What is it? Why is it not manipulation? Manipulation is you are creating something that you know is going to happen. Hmm. So I'm manipulating you. I'm saying something to you which you don't like and I'm making you like it somehow. Hmm. I'm manipulating you. Hmm. Manifestation is I'm thinking something that doesn't exist and I wanted to convert it into reality for through myself. my thoughts, for myself. It's a manifestation but of what doesn't exist. Hmm. Positive thinking. Is it just something that you're born with or can it be learned? learned. It can be learned. And that's part of what we yes. hear. It's just and, a small part of it. And finally, law of attraction, does it work for material things, spiritual things or both? Both. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Nitesh Hindu, thank you so much for being a part of this podcast. Thank you. I really enjoyed this conversation. Same it's here. unlike the usual conversations <laughs> that I have um, because these are, these are topics that I consider as outside the realm of core science, what I've been brought up with, what we read about every day. But it's something that really interests me and I feel there is so much more to learn and experience and people are experiencing and the explanations keep evolving as we keep learning more and more so conversations like this take that con take that understanding forward thank, thank you. you thank you and we'd love to say that uh, one of the missions which we are on as as a couple as a partnership is we want to take this message of love touch into every household of India where every member of the family wakes up and does affirmations like brushing your teeth, you need to start and watching your vision board, you start using the right techniques, you start using the right experiences to start vibrating the right frequency so that everybody is able to attract what they want. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely possible. And that's one of our missions. So thank you for thank you helping for us with us. that mission. My pleasure. Thank uh, you for having us. And it was indeed a pleasure you. conversation. Yes, we really was, loved it. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Lots of science conversations. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you. And uh, everyone who's watching, I hope you enjoyed it as well. You can check out the links below. Check out both of their uh, Instagram profiles. We'll put up their website. Uh, everything is available in the description. And I'll see you soon.